Here it is. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a RC CG car. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to set up your phone to connect to Blender, and you can control Blender properties with your phone. This does use an app called Jockey, which does cost like $5 on the App Store, and it's only available for the iPhone. I have looked for other free apps and stuff for Android. There is Touch OSC for Android, but I think that also costs $5 to $10. Let's, uh, let's begin. So what you will need for this is the Add Routes add-on. You can find it here. I'll link it down below. And then you're going to need the Jockey app or uh, an OSC type app that can do the same thing. So once you have both those downloaded, install the Add Routes add-on. And once you have that installed, we can go ahead and uh, get our vehicle ready. If you follow the tutorial and you have a vehicle, you can, you can use that same vehicle with the drive and steering values. I'm going to go ahead and use my add-on just to quickly set up a drivable car. I'm going to separate all these objects, get our four wheels. And I'm going to go ahead and separate this antenna too. So once you have everything separated, you can go ahead and quickly uh, set up your car rig. And I'm also going to rig up this antenna. I'm going to quickly add an armature and just extend it to match the antenna. Go ahead and change that to stick so we can see it better. Select your antenna and the armature and control P to parent. And I'll just parent the armature deform with automatic weights. And it's now rigged up. And I'm going to use my favorite add-on ever, uh, the wiggle bone, which I'll also link down below. And so I'm going to select the bones I want to wiggle, which are the top two. And I'm going to go find the bone property and enable wiggle bone. Uh, and once you do that, you automatically have uh <laughs> wiggling bones parent the armature to our car body so that'll track around with it do a little test drive here and it's looking good next up i'll show you an overview of the jockey app so let's go ahead and pull that up press this plus sign to create a new controller so on the bottom row here you have all these buttons and switches that you can use and so this first menu here is where you actually can set up your controls and your buttons this light and bolt menu is where you will actually control and send out your signals. And this settings panel is where you can actually change the settings of your, your buttons and sliders. And down here on this gear icon down here at the bottom right, and this is where we're actually going to connect our phone to our computer. So this is the OSC settings. The main thing you're going to want to focus on is the client IP address. And we're going to click on the OSC configure. So we're going to copy the same address and the same client port, and we're going to enable it. This pops up as red. That means it's not actually connected and it's not going to work. Underneath, we have the routes panel. We're going to open up the project routes. And so adding routes in Blender is really easy. You're just going to want to right click on your value and down at the bottom, you're going to see create a real time route. And so you can create a real time route for basically any property in Blender. So right now we have the location property routed. Let's uh, change the engine to OSC, and we're going to have this address pop up to automatically find the address to that button. Hold the slider button and press click, and it'll pop up our slider name along with an action that we want to route. After we have an address set up, uh, we come down here, click Receive, and as soon as we click Receive and press the slider, uh, you can see that we have an action going on. So there's a couple things you need to know. For example, as soon as we press the slider button, the object only moves between zero and one. And that's because the values of the slider are zero to one. And some of these buttons and sliders, you can't change the value of. I'll show you how to change some values later on. And another thing you'll notice is it's not actually sliding along with our slider. It's just popping between zero and one. And that's because our address route is set to active. So it's only when the button is active that it's gonna use our values. So instead of for the button just being active, we're just going to remove active and we're just going to use the slider values to move our object between zero and one. So that's just a quick overview of kind of how addresses and the button settings work. Let's go ahead and set up our RCG car. So in a perfect world, we would just copy the paths of our drive, our custom properties from our rig panel. But unfortunately, you can't do this as it's highlighted in red. 
So we actually have to add the route to our motor constraint, but as you can see, we have advanced expressions in our motor constraints and I just don't want to mess with all that. So we're going to make it simple by creating an empty sphere and just using the location values to drive our drive steering and brake properties. We're going to use the location properties, so I'm going to right click and add a real time route. I'm going to delete this old route. For the location property, you have three options. You have the X, Y, and Z location. And so underneath the location, you'll find the index option. So zero is X, one is Y, and two is Z. I'm gonna use the X location to drive the steering. So I'm gonna set the index to zero, the engine to OSC, and we're gonna get our address. So I have a two joystick set up. I'm gonna use the left joystick to steer. So I'm gonna move that around and press click. And I'm going to get our address here, and I'm going to come down here and press receive so we can receive our signal. So the address that we pick just for moving it around, it's set at angle, and I don't want the angle of the joystick. So the value we want from this joystick is going to be along the X axis. So we're going to write X after the joystick name. Now we're only getting the X value of the joystick, and it's moving the X location of our empty object. Once you have that set up, and you can see that it's working, we're going to right click the X location of our empty and copy as new driver. And then we're going to find the steering property of our rig and we're going to paste the driver. So now the X location will control the steering property and our phone will control the X location of our empty. So it's kind of a quick little cheat here. Moving on, I'm going to make it another location route and the assignment's going to be for the Y axis. So we're going to change our index to one, our engine to OSC, and then we're going to get the address of our other joystick. So I'm gonna press the right joystick and you're gonna see your name changes from joystick zero to joystick one. And instead of the angle of joystick one, we want the Y axis because we're gonna move it forward and back and go ahead and enable receive. And so now, so now if we test that out, the right joystick now drives the Y location of our empty. And same thing, we're gonna copy our Y location as a new driver and paste it into our drive property. So now you can see our left joystick controls our steering and our right joystick controls our drive through the location properties of our empty sphere. We can test that out. So you can see that our drive is really slow because it's only going between negative one and one. So we can change that through the actualization. Uh, instead of replace, we can come down to expression and change our expression. We still want the in. Uh, we can just times it by whatever number we want. So I'm just going to use 10. So it's going to be a 1 times 10. You can see we can change the, change the power of our drive property. And that's the simplest way to set up a, an RCCG car. Uh, you should now be able to control your vehicle through your phone. And what's also cool is you, after you, can, you can drive it around and then still save your cash. So you can kind of play it like a remote and, and actually save your animation. So some just extra stuff I did was add a brake button. I just used the location Z to drive our brake our brake property here. So every time you press the brake, it enables the brake property. So it worked out pretty well. I just want to add some lights to it. I was using a toggle button for the lights. I was just hiding and unhiding the lights for them to turn on and off. Uh, and in the toggle buttons, you can actually change the low and high settings. So I changed the high to zero and the low to one just to reverse it. So when you click the toggle, it turns on. And when it, uh, you unclick it, it disables it. But I think that's it. I think it's relatively straightforward, uh, the process of setting up routes, and you can get definitely more advanced uh, with this process. Uh, I just think it's pretty awesome. With an engine like Eevee, you can set up like real-time puppets. I'd like to, in the future, do something for a short film, actually create like a puppet puppet through this thing and uh, create like a live puppet type thing. And I've done a, a few tests with it, with the wiggle bones, and I use the wiggle bones on this puppet to get more lively action. And I just think it looks, uh, <laughs> it looks great. So I'd really like to do that sometime in the future. I've seen people do it before, like Will Anderson Jr. This is actually where I figured out you can connect your phone to Blender. He made this really cool like Santa puppet, and I, I just, I think it's amazing, and I'd really like to do something like that in the future. I think that's going to be it. If you have any questions or run into problems, I'll try to help you out down below. So yeah, I hope you, you try it out yourself. If you, again, if you know any other apps that can connect through OSC, let me know. I'll list that down below. Um, links will be down below and everything. 
I hope you learned something. Hope you had fun. And I'll see you never.